A Las Vegas man returns from his trip to find his apartment completely ransacked by what he says are squatters. Yeah, in a quick second, he came face to face with one of them and it turned violent. Victoria Saha joins us near Arville and West Flamingo with more. Jermaine Prickett says he walked into the unthinkable. Almost every single item he owned was gone. And then the squatters returned, but this time one left with a gunshot wound. My apartment robbed and ransacked. This is what Jermaine Pritchett walked into after being away from home for a couple of months. They pretty much took everything. His apartment destroyed. They pulled things apart. They cut the bottom of the couches. For the sake of his privacy and safety, we aren't disclosing exactly which apartment complex he lives in. How do they get in? I, that I still don't know. Bridget says squatters took everything from electronics to linen to clothing to socks. This lady here. And just as he was on the phone with 911, Pritchett says one of the squatters came in. Not sure of what was going to happen, Pritchett grabbed his gun, shooting the person once. And I was scared to death. You know, I, I heard the noise. Because, you know, nobody comes to my place without an invite. Do you just go into people's places? So what if it's open? Is this yours? No. Do you pay rent here? Video shared to us by Pritchett shows the aftermath. The squatter bleeding and denying breaking in. Look what they did to my place. I didn't rob you. When you're in that kind of a situation, you know that it is life or death. Police showed up and took the squatter to the hospital. In their notes, they classified this as a self-defense. It didn't just stop there. Pritchett says the next night he caught someone else trying to break in. I grabbed his, his, his arm as he was reaching in. I held him. This incident has caused Pritchett to be stripped of his sense of security and safety. I definitely feel 100% violated. Pritchett said he had to plead with his apartment complex numerous times to change his locks, and then they finally did. I also called the complex to see what more they could do to prevent this from happening again. They did not want to comment. Victoria Saha, 8 News Now. Well, Victoria also reached out to Metro Police. They say this incident is still under investigation. Now, they couldn't say whether that person who was shot is out of the hospital yet, but said the suspect was cited and the second person you saw was arrested by police. Now, they also say if you are ever in a situation, it is best to call 911, but it is, it is up to you to decide what the best thing for you is and, of course, your safety.